Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a summer image into a winter image. So a few people have emailed me and asked me how to make a photo look like it was taken in the snow, and I'm going to show you how to do that here today. So the first thing you're going to do is come down to your new adjustment layer icon down here at the bottom of your layers panel. It's the one that looks like a circle with a half circle filled in. And you're going to select the gradient map tool. And from here you're just going to make sure your gradient map is set to black and white. So it can either be black to white or white to black, it doesn't matter. And you can change that here by clicking the foreground to background icon or the black and white icon, it doesn't matter. I usually just have mine set to the foreground to background, which is fine. And if it looks this way, it looks like a negative, all you're going to do is hit reverse. So there is our gradient map layer. The next thing we're going to do is duplicate our background layer. And to do that, we're going to hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC to duplicate this to a background copy. And I'm going to rename this to Fuse because we're going to come up to the Filter menu and we're going to come down to Stylize and Diffuse. And if your mode is set to normal, you're going to just change your mode to Lighten. And what that's doing is kind of just making it a little bit fuzzier around the edges and it doesn't really matter on the subject but it really does make a difference on the trees and stuff like that if you want it to make it look a little bit snowier. So we're going to hit OK. And before we leave this layer, we're going to just change the blend mode to screen. So there is our diffuse layer there. So now the next thing we're going to do is come back down to the background layer. We're going to duplicate it again by hitting Command J or Control J on our keyboard. And then we're going to drag this with our mouse and just pull it up to the very top layer of our layer menu. So it's going to make the photo look like we haven't made any changes to it at all, which we have. And to show the changes that we've made, we're going to change this blend mode on this layer down to soft light. And now we're going to just adjust our opacity. I usually leave mine somewhere between 30 and 40 percent. And this is looking really good. Now before moving on, I want to paint this black and white layer off of the subject. So I want her to be in full color and this gradient map layer is making her um, black and white. So making sure that we have our layer mask selected here, we're going to select our brush tool by hitting B on our keyboard or hitting the little brush icon over here on our toolbar. And we're going to make sure that our foreground color is set to black. So down here we're going to toggle back and forth between black and white by hitting X on our keyboard. So we want this foreground color to be black and then we're going to adjust the opacity of our brush to somewhere around 80 or so percent. So this is 83 and we're just going to brush the black and white layer off of our subject. So you can get really precise if you like. This is good enough for the tutorial here. So now I actually want to apply this layer mask to the diffuse layer as well. So to do that, I'm going to hit the command or the control button on my keyboard. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to click on the layer mask with my mouse. So that's going to make a selection of the layer mask itself. It's not making a selection of the layer, just of the layer mask. And now I want to apply this layer mask to this diffuse layer. So since it's selected, I can come down to the diffuse layer and hit add new layer mask, which is the little square with the circle in it at the bottom. And it's going to copy that layer mask onto this layer, which just saves me the time of having to go through and layer mask everything off this layer as well. So now that that's done, the next thing I want to do is add just a photo filter to cool the image down a little bit. So I'm going to select my new adjustment layer and go up to photo filter. It usually defaults to this warming filter, but we're going to change it to cooling filter 80. And then we're going to adjust the opacity of that down a little bit. So I'm going to leave it at around 30 or 40 percent. And so I'll just show you the before and after before we add the snow. So here's the before photo. Here's the after now with our cool snowy background. And now all that's left for us to do is add the snow. So lucky for you, I have a free snow overlay for you to download. You can download it by clicking the link right below the video here. And once you've downloaded the overlay, you can come up to File and go to Place, 
select where you saved it on your computer and hit place. It's going to place it into your image for you. So now you can resize this if it doesn't fit your image. Um, to hold the shape of your overlay, you're going to hold down the shift key while you're dragging the corner. If you don't hold down the shift key, your image will lose its shape. And it's probably not that important on an overlay such as this, but um, it's good to know that your photo can maintain its shape by holding down the shift key while you drag away the corners. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to change the blend mode of the overlay to screen. And that's just going to make it look like snow now. And finally, we're going to add a layer mask, making sure we're using the same black brush. So our brush is selected, our foreground is black, and our opacity is set to 83%. And we're just going to brush it off the important parts of the photo. So I'm going to brush it off her face and maybe a little bit off her arms, a little bit off her dress. We want her to be the focus of the photo. So the snow is a little bit distracting on her. I'm just going to remove it from a few spots. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to show you the before. Here's the before and here's the after. So we've gone from a summery fall scene to a wintry snow scene. And we're going to do the same thing for this photo here. I'm just going to whiz through it here for you. So I've used all the same steps as I did in the previous photo. And I'm just going to show you the before. Here's the before and here's the after. So this is a really versatile technique. It works on almost every photo and um, I think you're really going to like it. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.